Hey guys, welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. So today we're going to be doing a drift build and tune for this 2003 BMW M5. So if you enjoyed the video or find it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. So this tune is super easy to drift with. It's great for doing things like tandem drifting with your friends. So we'll go into the festival and I'll show you how to upgrade a stock car and then tune it. All right, so we'll bring a stock 2003 BMW M5 into the custom upgrade menu here. So first we'll come into the engine and we're gonna upgrade everything in here. So race intake, race intake manifold, race fuel system, race ignition, race exhaust, race cams and valves, race valves, race engine block, race pistons and compression, race oil cooling and the race flywheel. So out of engine, now we'll come into platform and handling. Here we'll be doing the race brakes and then drift suspension, then race front and rear anti-roll bars as well as the race weight reduction. So out of platform and handling, now into drivetrain, max everything out in here, so a race clutch, race transmission, race driveline, and the race diff, back out of drivetrain, and then finally into tyres and rims, we're not going to touch the compound here, but we'll come into the widths, so we're going to set the front tyres to 265, that, which is the second option, and then in the rear, we're going to set it to the first option to 85. Then we'll come over to the wheels so we can save a bit more weight here. We're just going to put on these team dynamics here to save 17 kilos. Then finally, we're going to add some wheel spaces as this just looks cool. So that's it as far as the upgrades go. So you can go ahead and apply all of these. Alright, so now we've upgraded our car, we can come down to the tuning menu here. So first I'll cover the metric tune and then I'll show you the differences for the imperial tune and I'll leave the tune code on screen now. So for the tyre pressures, we're going to set our front tyres to 1.8 bar, just like that. And in the rear, we're going to set it up to 2.8. Then if we come over to the gearing, we're going to set our final drive to 3.20. Next, if we come over to the springs tab, we're going to set our front springs here to 128.0 and in the rear, we're going to set it up to 140.5, so just like that. Then the ride heights, we're going to bring it up just a little bit, just so we don't catch on any of the ground, so 13.7 in the front and 13.8 in the rear. And finally, if you come over to the differential tab at the end, we're going to set our rear acceleration up to 92%. So that's it as far as tuning goes. So you can go ahead and apply all these and then I'll show you the differences for the Imperial tune. Alright guys, so as far as differences go for the Imperial tune is you want 26.5 PSI in the front and 40.7 in the rear. Then if you come over to the springs tab, you want 716.6 in the front and 786.9 in the rear and set both the ride heights to 5.4 inches. So that's it as far as differences go. So you can go ahead and apply all of these. All right guys, so this has been a super simple and easy drift build and tune for the 2003 BMW M5. So if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe.